Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to get Movie Render Queue running in our packaged game. Um, this technique works in engine versions 5.1 and up. I know it's possible to do in earlier versions, but it's much more complicated, so I would just advise you following that tutorial and using 5.1 or higher. There is a tutorial on how to set up rendering Movie Render Queue 360 sequences from editor uh, and I'm gonna link this down below. All the assets that you see here are explained in that tutorial. So if you don't know how to do this, just go to that tutorial and come back here after. First of all, you need to make sure a couple things are done to your project before you start building that blueprints. Mm, we need to make sure our movie render queue plugin is enabled. And we need to make sure that our C++ class is created and working. And we need to make sure that our toolkit is installed in the folder, in the project folder. So you can still have your engine installation and work in editor, but you won't be able to package your project without having the toolkit inside of the actual file. Cool. Let's go back to the project. And let's go to the sequence. So we just see what we're rendering out. This is the sequence we're going to be getting out. This is the configuration of the sequence. That is also an asset. You will also learn how to make it in the tutorial that I'm going to link. We'll be using it in our blueprint now. We want to recreate that blueprint. So you can screenshot this or just see me build it out now. First, I'm going to create a keyboard action. This is just me pressing one on my keyboard. I'm going to add widget, create widget, which is a widget build of our 360 render target. This is also a part of the tutorial that is linked below. So I'm going to select that widget. I'm going to add it to the viewport. That way, when I press one, the render target will appear on top of my screen and Movie Render Queue will be able to render, the, render it out. Great. And now on to movie pipeline subsystems. This is what we're looking for. If you can't find this, if it doesn't come up, make sure that you're spelling this without space because with the space, it just doesn't come up. And if you're spelling it like that and you still can't find it, that means that either your movie render queue plugin is not enabled or you don't have your C++ class created. Now pulling out from here, allocate job. And this lets me choose my sequence, which is this stuff. I have it right here. Now I'm going to set configuration which is also allowing me to select my asset, which is the movie render queue asset that you can create inside of movie render queue. Again, the tutorial below covers that. I'm going to connect these. And now from here, I'm going to pull out render job. and connect the job I allocated myself. Connect these guys, make it a bit cleaner. Great. So now the only thing that's left for me is to connect this line with that line. So let's pull these guys together.
and let's see when i press one the widget will be created so my render target will appear on the screen and then movie render queue can start working and it will allocate the job which is my sequence it will set the configuration which will basically allow me to also render that widget together with the game and it will execute the render let's try compiling it all works and now i'm just gonna package my game Great, packaging complete. Let's check if it's working. This is my packaged game. My starting point is a bit weird, but it doesn't matter because all we want to do is trigger that sequence. So I'm going to press one on my keyboard. Cool, now let's check if it actually worked. All right, all recorded, all coming from the packaged game. That's how it's done, guys.